Kyle, congratulations on a big uh, finish there, TKO. How's it feel to uh, to beat a tough guy like Bill Algio inside the distance? Uh, it feels a little surreal. I mean, the game plan coming in definitely wasn't to put him away that early. I mean, Bill is obviously very tough, and just the way he was able to to stay up as long as he did. But man, I was I was coming with even more power, and I was gonna you know I was gonna do it for 15 minutes. So uh, I understand the the crowd wasn't maybe super happy, but I think it was probably the best best for Bill. I mean, he's super durable and he'd stay in there. But I mean, we don't want him taking too many more shots like that. Yeah. And did you get um? Did you see the replays or anything? I guess I was gonna ask you your thoughts on the stoppage. Yeah, from the replays. I mean, I thought it was good. Like, I, I hit him hard once and wobbled him. And then he, he kind of, you know, he started getting it back a little bit, and then I hit him hard again and wobbled him. And I hit him hard again and wobbled him. And it was, it was just kind of just falling around, just hammering on him. So I definitely think, you know, by the point that the, that the ref stepped in, I think it was a good call. Yeah, and um, I guess there were some flurries in that fight. You know, he, he likes to kind of get wild sometimes. He does some unorthodox things. So as a fighter like you, is it, is it tough to kind of not – like bite at some of those kind of weird things like at one point he was throwing a, a like a spinning back kick and you kind of ducked under uh you know a spinning back fist of his so was it tough to stay out of that sort of storm uh you know a couple of years ago I'd say yeah I mean I still love to to get in there and bang but it's it's not always the smartest thing and and I, I believe I can get in there and bang with anybody you know I, I hit real hard and, uh, you know, once I touch your chin, even a super tough guy like Bill, you know, I can put you on, you know, the wobbly leg. So I love to get in there and bang. I know the fans love it. Now I'm just getting better at picking my times, you know. I stepped in there a few times and, and swung, swung some pretty big shots and stood in the pocket. And, um, yeah, I mean, that's what I'm here to do, put on exciting fights. You threw out uh, Nate Landwehr's name. Uh, was that some, someone that was on your radar before this week, or was it just like the math adds up? He wins two fights ago with a, a knockout. You win with your TKO. Was that kind of what encouraged you to, to make that call? Yeah, I mean, Nate uh, has been on my uh, my radar, you know, for a long time. We fought on on UFC Vancouver and Canada uh, together, and I mean, all the 145ers are on on my radar. Just you know, Nate had a good performance tonight. He likes to stand and bang. I like to stand and bang, so it makes sense to me. Congrats on the win, Kyle. How do you think a fight between you and Nate goes? Like, how do you see that fight playing out? Uh, it's probably going to be pretty similar to, to the one that I just had. Again, Nate's also a very tough guy, and I think I'm going to hit him with him with some hard shots, and, and this time we'll see him go to sleep. A lot of booze. Did you enjoy that? It seemed like you were having some fun in there. Yeah, I mean, you know, once upon a time, I, I wanted to, to please everybody, but that's just not the game. I'm always the away guy. I'm never going to please everybody. So as long as my coaches are happy, you know, my, my fiance, my kids, my family's happy, that's the, the only people I care about. If you guys want to cheer for me, you're in my corner, you're on my team. I love you guys. If not, whatever. And then with having a baby, congratulations, so close to fight week, did you ever think about pulling out or any like last minute thoughts there at all? Never, never. Uh, you know, I discussed it with my, my fiance, Claudia, when we, when we got the call. I'm like, it's Bill Algio. He's higher up in the ranks. I think this is a perfect fight for me. But the baby's due in March and the fight's in March. And that was her one rule coming into the new year. No fights in March. I'm like, ah, can we make it happen? And, and she was all on board. She was 100% ready to go. And she was by my side the whole training camp, helping with food, helping with everything. Even, you know, through the birth of our son, she was back up the next day on her feet, you know, helping me. And I was helping with the kid too. But, uh, yeah, she's been uh, instrumental in my, in my training camps and my life. And then last one for me, just talking about the rankings. Three in a row now, like you said, big one over Bill Algio. Like, when maybe, do you maybe see... Maybe four in a row. <laughs> yeah, well. I'd do that one again, too. If Korean, Zom... I mean, Korean Superboy wants to come back, I'd love to sell that one, too. 3-0-1, oh, make it 4-0 in the last four. Apologies there. And uh, that being said, like, when do you see a rank coming your way? How close are you? I don't really care about the ranks. I just want to fight. I'm hungry, you know. I, I'm in good shape. No injuries from this fight. I'd like to turn around and fight again. If I could get four or five fights this year, that'd be, you know, perfect in my books. Kyle, just one for me, brother. How's, uh, how does it feel to be, I'd say, the front runner in Canadian MMA right now? We've been missing a guy for a while. And, uh, I mean, with this win streak you got going on, it feels like you could be the guy to lead the charge right now. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's what I've always wanted to do. Um, but, you know, we also we got my buddy Mike Malott, my training partner. He's doing, he's doing amazing. There was a bit of a slip-up in the last fight, but that's, that's not who he is. He's going to be back stronger than ever. And Canadian MMA is just exploding right now. You know, we got Jazz, Divisius, you know, all coming off a win, too. we got so many great fighters in Canada. I think it's maybe time UFC comes back. I know they're just there in Toronto, but uh, let's get another car or two in Canada this year. And, uh, you know, I'll be there with bells on to knock somebody out. And I know we're known as, like, 
the polite people, but did it feel good to kind of talk a little bit of smack back to the crowd tonight when they were booing you? Yeah, I mean, I want to be super respectful with my opponent, uh, but if you're some drunk guy in the crowd and you want to boo, eh, you know, you're going to get a piece of my mind. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you.